Okay, I think I am actually live. Hi, and welcome to an after Hurricane Irma Soul Infused Monday show. And I'm <clears throat> not actually sure if the connection is strong enough. I do not know if I'm actually really live or not, and I'm gonna just do it anyway. And I worked relentlessly today to get some internet somehow working so that I could connect with you today. So I'm not 100% sure if it's working. If you see and hear me, say hello, say something. Um, and I don't know how long it's gonna last but I'm super happy to welcome you today from the Turks and Caicos Islands after the Hurricane Emma hit us. And it was important to me to connect with you and to keep this movement going because to go through an experience like a Category 5 hurricane that was called the worst ever hit a, such a small and flat island it was quite an experience and I wanted to share a few things with you and I also wanted to thank you and everyone that sent so much love, so much support, so much, so many messages. Um, it was so touching. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support, for all your love, for all your prayers and to help me also to keep the light up. And um, so I appreciate that. And if you sent me a message that I did not respond, I got so many, I have barely internet, we have no power, we have no running water. Um, so I will get back to you whenever I can, but know that I read them all, that they touch my heart and I appreciate you so much. So, hi Karen, okay, that means you can see me. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, I'm not gonna, uh, I don't wanna be here too long. We really have to save on everything. But first of all, I wanna say that I, I am super grateful. I am safe, I feel good. And my heart reaches out to everyone that has been affected way worse. Uh, that's still in in the aftermath or in the uh, effect of the hurricane. I've experienced it here myself, so I know what it means to go through something like that. And I want us to take a moment to really send some love and support and light and and to everyone involved, because I truly believe that we have the power to really make a difference, every little one. And you really matter, like whoever is watching, and I'm saying that um, also go after the, the, the hurricane, that every little thing matters. You matter, what you do matters, um, what you think matters, how you feel matters, every little, detail that you do for yourself or for anyone else that has an effect. Everything you do has an effect internally and externally. And um, regardless of the situation, this was an extreme situation with Hurricane Irma. And, um, <clears throat> and one of the things that I really realized is, especially in times when there's so much fear, when there's so much um, yeah, damage, destruction, heaviness, it's so important to connect to a deeper trust and a deeper uh, light to hold the light. And some people are here to hold the light and um, When I decided to go on this show today, and I did not know if it's gonna work, and I've been running up and down all morning, we've been all working our butts off the weekend, everybody's cleaning, everybody is uh, assessing the damage. Uh, some of my friends um, ha have it way worse than me. So there's also sadness, obviously, driving around and seeing and what a destruction it can be and at the same time 
the gratitude is so 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 enormous and I didn't prepare for this show because I didn't even know if it would be happening. I, di I didn't have the time to, to um, you know, to, to think about something. I just wanted to show up. And that was the most important thing for me. So uh, there are people working around. It's a bit crazy everywhere. But the most important thing for me was to show up in my community because as I said to you in the beginning, you matter, everything you do matters, so do I. And what I do matters to me and it matters to me that I show up in my community and share some of the things that I experienced and that I, um, yeah, that I'm, I'm, I'm just, that I'm showing up and to do whatever it takes or to have that mindset of getting things done, getting, uh, back into a really uh, solution-oriented and loving place. So if nothing else, what I would love to convey today is that you can make a difference. You can make such a difference in someone's life, regardless where you are, regardless what you do, regardless of the amount of effort that you can make, like a thought, uh, a message, a, a reaching out to help. Um, <clears throat> anything you do makes a difference. And my vision, or one of the things that are so important to me, is to really help people all over the world to feel so good within themselves, to feel so centered, so calm, so trusting and safe inside themselves that that's what they are showing up with in the world. And of course, there were moments of fear and there were moments of, oh my God, should I leave the island? And I couldn't leave the island and uh, there were no flights and all of that. However, overall, over the whole experience, there was something deep inside of me that felt like I'm okay. I felt safe. I felt calm. I felt trusting and I felt also that I didn't have any unfinished business. And that's something also that I wanted to, to convey to you. Like sometimes we need to face something really threatening, you know, something life threatening. And then you maybe think of, oh my God, I wish I would have talked to this person or I wish I would have done this or I wish um, I would have told someone that I love him or her. So, and in a sense, I felt like everyone knows and there's nothing that I have not expressed to someone or I have something unresolved. And that felt so good. I felt so calm and I was ready for whatever was coming my way. Why I'm sharing this with you, the point in me sharing this with you is to do the deeper inner work, to really connect to who you are, to peel off the layers to be able to deal with situations that are so out of proportion, like we really didn't know. I mean, when we were at the hotel uh, and I was so blessed staying there and we were seeing the, her the, the storm, it was crazy. And we were really thinking cars are gonna fly out later on. Um, everything is gonna be destroyed. We're gonna go back home and our home is gone, flooded, everything gone. We were prepared to lose everything. and. Um, and then we were so blessed that it wasn't that bad ultimately, but also that calmness and that readiness to lose everything and still be okay. That comes with the deeper inner work and the deeper trust of who you really are. And, uh, I hope that makes sense. Um, to be honest, um, it is, you know, <laughs> I'm exhausted, obviously. So much is going on. I'm rambling a little bit. And uh, I wanted to let you know that I'm good. And I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you being in my community so much. It means the world to, to me. Every message, every prayer, every... <laughs> Just knowing that people were caring about me in such a tremendous way was unbelievably touching and 
anyone um, that knows someone that um, is going through a hard time or that the hurricane is maybe still hitting or something, send them, keep sending them love, keep sending them prayers, keep, keep um, staying positive because it does make a difference. It does make a difference. It's so easy to fall back into fear, so easy to fall into, um, uh, you know, focusing on the things that, that, that you've lost instead of focusing on the things that you still have. And, uh, yeah, and if you have any questions or if you, you know, leave, if you want to leave a comment uh, below and let me see, Maria, ha, so good to see you, Karen, make total sense. Okay, great. Like, if, if you want to know anything in particular or if you want to say something, just, just hit the comment below. Um, I, it's more like a connecting today. It's not so much about me teaching or uh, about me you know, having a certain topic. It's just really about connecting, sharing the love, um, staying inspired, uh, staying connected with your vision and with who you are and with who you want to show up when uh, difficult situations occur. So um, let me know what you think. Let me know who is here. Send me hello. And if you have any questions and otherwise I will just keep it short today and we'll be back next Monday again. Uh, on a regular basis. I hope everything is, is, is great. Okay, so um, why don't we, because we are here together, uh, take a minute to just tune in and just to meditate together. Anywhere you are, it doesn't matter if you watch the recording or if you are with me here live, um, no matter what's going on in your life, uh, good, bad, ugly, beautiful, just take a moment to take a nice deep breath Hi, Manuela. Oh, it's so great to see you. Oh, awesome. Okay, so shall we do that? Let's do a one-minute one minute meditation together. Okay, so take a nice deep breath. Close your eyes. If you're driving, don't close your eyes. But um, if you can, just close your eyes. Take a, nice, a few nice deep breaths, really nice deep breaths. Ah, relax any tension that you might have in your body, your shoulders and neck or base, feet, if you can. <sighs> Diana, I just saw your question. Just meditate with us for a minute. So take a nice deep breath. Close your eyes. Connect to your heart. Connect to your breath. And release any tension. And really imagine that you bring the energy back into center. Also when you're anxious or when you're stressed out, our energy tends to move outwards and be scattered anywhere. So you want to come back to center. And you want to keep breathing. You want to sit in Beautiful vertical alignment if you can, so that can energy can flow and uplift you. Ah, you want to relax the muscles on your face, the muscles on your jaw, the muscles around your eyes. And with your next deep inhale, you breathe the energy up and you focus the energy on top of your head. And while you keep your head straight, you turn your inner eye up. You keep your eyes closed and you look upwards. And you keep relaxing, you keep breathing, and you keep focusing on moving the energy upwards. Connecting to the higher frequency of our crown chakra that is on top of our head. Imagining it like a beautiful lotus flower opening up to the sky. And then for a moment you can reach up whatever your belief system is, whatever your way of connecting to a higher source is. 
could be connecting to your soul, to God, to the universe, to the divinity, in your own way, connect to the higher version of your being. And then for a moment, stay connected way with that energy, the higher version of love and light. And imagine that you spread it, you spread it. Maybe you have someone in mind that you want to send that love and light towards. Maybe it's a region, maybe it's a country, maybe it's your family. And let us all connect together and spread love and light onto this planet. And send the love and light to yourself. Letting fill up your heart. Let it pour down into your body. And let it fill up your body. Let it fill up your arms, your legs, your shoulders, your chest, your base, your legs, everything. Let it fill yourself up with this higher frequency and up and down to the ground. And ground yourself completely with the earth and your breath. And you take a nice deep breath. <sighs> And stay centered, stay connected, stay with that energy in a moment. Whenever you're ready, you open up your eyes. <sighs> and welcome back. And just take a moment to feel how you feel. Like, do you feel more grounded? Do you feel more calm? Leave me a comment. Just let me know how you feel. And just keep breathing. And I'm going to address um, Diane's question real quick. I have a difficult time processing loss. Can you talk about that? Um, I certainly can talk about that. There's a lot to talk about. Um, but ultimately, and loss is very general. You know, like, um, do you mean like, uh, did you lose someone uh, you love or loss? What type of loss? Pride and peaceful. Yeah, Karen. Beautiful. Exactly. So imagine you do this on a regular basis, on a daily basis, and you can have that brightness, that peacefulness, that calmness, that centeredness available constantly within you. So when life happens outside, craziness happens outside, pain happens outside, that affects you, you can deal with it in a much better way. Does that make sense? So I encourage you again and again, and you know I talk about this a lot, I encourage you to really start the day with mindfulness, meditation, uplifting your energy, because how you start the day is how you um, continue the day. And today, Monday, I, it's a miracle actually that I'm online and doing this Soul Infused Monday show for you today. Um, after the Hurricane Irma, and we have no power, no... Uh, no water and the our internet company opened this morning and I heard about that so I went very early to stand in line and it was crazy just just to, to share a moment it is you know these pictures when when people go because there's the latest Harry Potter book or a movie that I want to see or a concert and they're basically um, staying there for hours to be in time so that's how it was today with with the with the internet company so i got um i managed to get uh it work on my phone so at least i can connect 
here on my phone on a limited amount of time. So I'm so happy that you're here. Um, Diane, I am working on forgiving myself for the past mistakes. Okay. You know, um, if you're working on it, it's great. Like, you know, it, it has really to do a lot with forgiving yourself, uh, letting go of judgment. I don't know exactly what the issue is, but if you work with someone that I would think, because otherwise working on it is really difficult because we don't reach the deeper layers that are blocked in us in order to actually really release uh, the shame, the pain, and the judgment, um, and the guilt about past mistakes. So if you're working with a coach or a therapist, that's great, so keep doing that. And you can um, maybe, in addition, find a beautiful meditation that gets you in touch with more self-love, with more acceptance of who you are, and to see that what you do is not who you are, and that we all made mistakes in the past. Um, and, you know, it might not even be a mistake. You made an experience, something happened to you, and it's an opportunity for you to explore deeper and to heal something deeper. So I would need to have a little bit more of information to help you, but in general, when you do the deeper inner work to clear, it's about releasing the guilt, is releasing the self-judgment about it, so that you can come from a place of knowing that what you did in the past did not determine who you are today. And my advice also for you, Diane, is to show up powerfully to become empowered, take responsibility for whatever it is that you want to forgive yourself. Take full responsibility, own it with everything that comes with it. And, it, that, and, and this um, relates to everyone that has issues from the past because we all have them. Own it, uh, take responsibility, and let go of the self-judgment though and show up powerfully of, uh, with who you want to be and focus on how do I want to show up, how do I want to feel, and how can I serve now so that I feel I matter, that I feel I'm in service, and that I contribute. Because as long as you're busy with judging yourself and not forgiving yourself and beating yourself up for something you've done in the past, you're really not doing yourself a favor, but you're not doing anyone else a favor, also not that person that you might have done something that you feel guilty about. Let me know if this is helpful and if this makes sense. And, uh, and if anyone has any last comments or questions, I'll be here for another minute. And then I'm going to say goodbye for today. It was such a pleasure being able to do this today and connect with you out there. Um, have a fantastic rest of your Monday. And everywhere, no matter how dark it is outside, no matter what's going on in the world, there's always light. And it's up to us to really hold the light, to keep the light up, and to support anyone else who might need to be uplifted. I truly believe that's why we're here. I'm here for that. That's why I'm here. And there was a reason for me to stay here on the island that I couldn't actually leave. Um, and I feel very strongly that it was for me to make that experience, but also to hold the light. So. Yes, it does. Thank you. Okay, great, Diane. I, I, and if you need a little uh, something more, just uh, give, send me a private message and I'm happy to connect with you whenever I can. So be patient with me. Um, I will get back to you and spread, keep spreading the light within yourself. Love yourself. Stop judging yourself. Love yourself for who you are and for who you want to be and show up in the world powerfully, unapologetically, because that's what the world needs. And especially in moments when it's so easy to fall back in the dark. Okay, I'll see you next Monday, 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 p.m. Eastern time from hopefully the Turks and Caicos Islands. I think there's another, there's another hurricane coming, but we are not worried about it right now. We'll take it day by day. Much love. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.